Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about a midlife crisis that I had about seven years ago that almost cost me my life. Uh, so those of you that don't know me, my name is Bashar Ketu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, uh, a, an education company with a, with a mission to impact one million lives. Um, you know, I'm out here, uh, uh, we're, we're on a, it's, we're celebrating my birthday and our anniversary uh, this past week, but we also came here to Mexico because of a mastermind that I'm part of. Uh, we pay $50,000 a year just to be, you know, uh, to learn from someone who's, um, who's accomplished something in life um, and, and we're trying to learn from him. And also connections, you know, connecting with other entrepreneurs, other like, you know, like-minded people, uh, people that wanting to get further in life, wanting to accomplish uh, greater things. So uh, I just turned 32 and when I turned 25, it was probably the the worst time it was the worst it was the second worst day of my life and that was on uh, february 28 2015. uh my birthday is march 1st um and the reason why it was so difficult for me and it was such a bad day because you see i was about to be turning 30 and i felt like once you turn uh, i mean i'm sorry i was about to be turning 25 and i felt like if you turn 30 it's like the end of the world so i was kind of like halfway there from 20 to 25 and now i only had five more years but what i realized really the reason why i was so um so emotional and so feeling disappointed in myself was not the fact that i was turning 25 because 25 is only really a, you know according to how far and how long people live today uh, it's only about a quarter uh of the, the 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 lifespan right but the reason why was simply because i had nothing going on for me I had a failing business that I was dumping three to five thousand dollars in losses every single month. I had, you know, a, a a special someone that had just entered my life, and I had nothing to show them. And I simply did not really have anything going on in my life that I can be proud of. That I can actually think, you know, this is this is good. I like my life. I'm enjoying it. And that was the biggest reason why I was simply. Um, not happy and I was you know very disappointed you see but then when I realized that some of that happiness also came from me looking at other people and me comparing myself to other 25 year olds looking at 20 year olds that have accomplished a lot more in life than I did at that time and me comparing myself to them and I made myself a promise ever since that I'm never going to compare myself to anybody else because the only true competition that I personally have is myself yesterday, last month, and last year. And simply, I put my head down and for the next seven years, I just kept on making sure that every single day when I go to work, that my promise was to myself, by the end of the day, I'm gonna be better than I was when I first woke up in the morning. First thing I wake up in the morning, I say, I'm gonna do everything I can today that so that when I go to sleep, I am better and wealthier. And wealth isn't always just about money, but it's about relationships, it's about access, it's about knowledge, it's about awareness. And that simply was my goal for the next few years. And although oftentimes, when you are in the middle of doing something, it really doesn't feel like you're doing a whole bunch. You know, in the middle of doing something, it feels like you're only taking small steps. It looks like, you know, every single day you're taking these little steps at a time, but after a long time, you will look back and look at the result and look at the path and look at where you were and where you are, and you're gonna realize that you've actually come a very, very, very long way. So although, regardless where you are in life today, every day you wake up and you do something and you improve just a little bit and you try to add a little bit to yourself and to your life and try to improve things and maybe you've been at it for a week maybe you've been at it for a month maybe you've been at it for a year and then you look back and you're like man these little steps are just not adding up but you know what nothing great actually happens overnight anything that is worth having simply takes time and you got to understand that since 2015 until now 2022 it's been seven years i have been putting in steps very little steps but because it's been nearly a decade now i look back and it's this huge thing but for you you cannot look at me and try to be like me i just invested fifty thousand dollars this is the second mastermind for me inside of this year 
The other one, I invest $36,000 again to do the same thing, hang out with other entrepreneurs, other people that are, you know, further ahead uh, uh, than me in life and simply learn from them. So you can't look at Bashar and say, well, you know, that sh must be good because Bashar can go in and, and you know, invest uh, uh, nearly six figures a year just to learn from other people. I don't have that money. Well, you know what? Compare yourself to where I was in 2015 because what I did in 2015 was nowhere near what I'm doing right now. What I did was I called my girlfriend and I simply told her to give me her credit card number and I swapped her card, or swiped, not swapped, but I swiped her card for a $497 credit card. And uh, a course, and I'm pretty sure any of you guys out there have a couple hundred dollars, a few thousand dollars that you can invest in yourself. Start with reading books. Start with, you know, watching videos like these. Start, you know, there is content out there that's, you know, virtually free that you can actually educate yourself and become aware, okay? And you personally, although yes, you need money to make money, but you personally do not need to have money in your hand in order for you to actually become successful. Because when I first started my Amazon journey, I was $150,000 in debt, yet I was able to raise about ten dollars to $15,000 that I could actually invest in my Amazon business so that I can succeed. So how was it, and I know that this might confuse some of you guys, how was it that I, what I while I was $150,000 in debt, I was still able to invest ten to fifteen thousand dollars in an Amazon business well because I use what is called OPM other people's money and I have another video where I talk in depth about this about how you could do it so I don't want to go too much in depth in this but you personally number one yes you do need money to make money but you personally do not need to have money in your pocket in order for you to actually make something happen in your life outside of that I truly hope that this inspires you I truly hope that these videos that I make that actually really motivate you to wake up every day and do something. Look, I'm not trying to flash, you know, uh, 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 this beautiful, uh, 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 you know, resort at you and say, look how beautiful my life and look how awesome my life is. That is not what I'm trying to do here. I, it's Saturday and on Saturdays I record content for the rest of the week and I just happen to be in Mexico. And I'm like, you know, instead of doing it in my room, I'll do it out here in the sun. It's a beautiful day. I'm just showing you this stuff because I want you to understand that seven years ago, I did not start here. I couldn't afford to invest $50,000 and another nearly five to $10,000 to just fly out to Mexico and spend the whole week while I have an eight-figure company that's being ran by my partners, by people that actually are in our company doing that every single day. That wasn't me seven years ago. And you are probably where I was seven years ago. So don't look at me today and try to compare yourself to me. Look at me today and use me as an inspiration, as something to strive for but learn from my experience, learn from my past mistakes and try to avoid them because trust me, if I could avoid the mistakes that I personally made throughout my journey, I would have been a lot further and I would have gotten there a lot faster. But outside of that, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, smash that thumbs up button and also tell a friend, tag a friend or two in the chat below, in the description below uh, or the comment section below, I guess. And uh, let us know also what more from this channel you would like to see, what kind of content you'd like to see because we want to make sure that we provide content that you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.